before the video starts, make sure to join the Slice Melon Discord server displayed on screen. It's a great community where you can share your work, get advice, and more. We hope to see you there soon. Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to make a letter icon in Photoshop or Photopea. What you want to do first is create a new file, change the width and height, and make the resolution 300. Then you can press create. Okay, once you've done this, you want to create a new layer and get your text tool. You just want to put whichever letter you want. So I'm going to put uh, A my name make it bigger okay so now you want to find a font for your letter I wouldn't use anything too complex like something like this isn't gonna work Okay, I'm going to use this. This is called Clan OT. If you don't know where to get free fonts from, if you go to the link on screen, it's also fonts.google.com. You can get loads of free fonts on there. Okay, so what we're going to do now is pick a color for our letter. This can be whatever you want and obviously you can change this later. I think I'll be using a blue. So I'm gonna go for this. Now you wanna press Ctrl J on your layer and do something like this. Just offset it slightly and then you can change the color, make it darker. This will be the background. Well, the 3D part, the outline. So now you wanna go to your layers and drag it under. And now you're starting to see that it's kind of 3D, but we want to join it up. So we're going to zoom in with control minus and plus. I'm going to scroll to the edge here. Press I to get your color picker and pick this color. Then you want to come here to your bottom layer and make a new layer. Then come to your pen tool change path to shape and get rid of the stroke make sure your fill color is the same as this and all you want to do is select the corner here and there you go that just joins up the shape and actually makes it look 3d so i'll just do that again so Click on one corner, click on the next one, then just fill it in and press enter. Okay, so now we have a 3D letter, but you could leave it like this, but personally I think this is a bit boring, so I'm going to add some effects, add some shading. What I'm going to do now is select all the shapes I just created. I'm going to click on the top one, shift click, select them all. Now just right click and press convert to small object. I'm going to press convert to small object. Then I'm going to create a new layer. I'll get my pen tool again and I'll make the color slightly darker. Then I just want to zoom in. Join up different sections like this. Okay, so this obviously looks strange right now, but if you go to the shape you just made, hold Alt and click, you can also right click and press create clipping mask. 
I just add some shading. So I'm going to do it on this side as well. Okay, so this is what mine looks like so far. I'm just going to make this color a bit lighter. Something like this. Okay, I like how this looks. So now I want to come to this layer here. This is the back. We want to select all of these, right click, convert to small object, and now it's all one shape. Now we want to create a new layer on top of this, right click, create clipping mask, and get a dark blue color, or whatever color you're using, get a very dark version of that color. Then you want to come here to the brush tool, general brushes off the round bush and make the size bigger then you want to come to opacity change it to around 50 and then all you want to do is add some shading obviously you can do this a bit more detailed if you want to i'm just doing this quickly And then this part, I'm just gonna color this in. Okay, now that's kind of shaded. I wanna select this, change the blend mode to overlay. And then turn the opacity down. Okay, so I'm also gonna add some highlights with white. So I'm just gonna do the opposite on the edges. You can also use selection tool to help you so you don't get any here. Oh, I can do this. Okay, so I'm also going to change this blend mode to overlay. Now, obviously, if we zoom out, this is a lot better than it was. This looks good, but you make it a bit more customized you can add some blending options to the actual letter so i'm gonna click on this right click blending options you can also double click on the layer i'm gonna add a gradient overlay to mine and then you can play play it around with these settings i'm also gonna add a bevel Okay, so that's all the blending options I want to add to mine. I'm now going to find some effects online to add to the front of this. I'm going to try find a half tone pattern. Okay, so I just found this one on Google. I'm going to add it to my shape. I'm just going to put it over like this. Create a clipping mask. And change the blend mode to overlay. I'm going to turn the opacity down. And I'm just going to add a layer mask and brush some of this away. I'm liking how this looks so far. I'm just going to edit my gradient slightly. Okay, and that's how you make it. So now I'm just going to show you how to change the color after you've done all your editing. So what you want to do is select all the layers you used, press Ctrl G, and now it's in a group, you want to come here, click here, add a hue saturation layer, press backspace or delete on the mask, then you want to create a clipping mask onto the group, and you can just change the color here. You can also press colorize, but this sometimes removes some of the detail. So I'd recommend using this. Obviously, if you keep it in your group, like I have, you can edit it here as well. So I can change this. If I want it to be... I want mine orange instead. 
I can go there, then press Control U on the back and find an orange and down. And there you go. So this is very simple. You can follow this in Photopea as well. See you guys in the next video.